Here are my top three high level traps against D4 players that involve the C5 ideas. Trap number one, this may happen in the London system where white starts with d4 then you go knight f6 immediately, knight f3 is one of the top played moves after which you go pawn to c5 immediately. Now hold on, this is not yet the Benoni defense, it's still the Indian defense Spielman variation since white hasn't committed pawn to c4 yet. So once you see the London system, it's high time for you to celebrate cause here you have a little trap which begins with CD and hey look at this, the top played move is knight takes d4 in the Lich's database. After this, you can simply play pawn to e5 and white will lose a free piece in this position. For example, if bishop takes, you simply go queen a5 check and on the next move you are going to win a free bishop. The game may continue as follows, pawn to e3 but you go bishop b4 y. That's what you do when you're up a piece or when you have a positional advantage. Bishop d3 mess up white pawn structure. Bc castle short, white to castle short and from here it's just a matter of time before white resigns. Right, but after bishop f4 by white and then you take, what if white doesn't take with his knight? But let's say he goes queen takes d4. Well against this, the plan is very simple. You simply go pawn to d6 intending to go e5 next. So the top played move is queen d1 in this position. Then look at this, because there is no bishop on c1 which defends the b2 pawn, you take advantage of that with a move queen b6. b3 is the top played move after which you go knight e4 immediately wanting to checkmate on f2, obviously pawn to e3 will be played, then in this position I wouldn't mind going pawn to e5 immediately. So it's up to you to come up with a plan that works for you. There's another trap, which is the second trap by the way, in this anti-London system defense that begins with a move pawn to g5. What's the deal? It looks like that's just a free pawn but if knight takes, well you can simply take back and on the next move you win the free bishop once again with the same tactic, queen a5 check. Right, what if white plays bishop g3 instead of taking cause they don't want to lose a piece? Well from here you can just continue playing normal chess for example pawn to h5 is good. If something like bishop d3, well you can simply go pawn to a5 to defend your knight before playing pawn to h4 trapping that bishop. So they may play something like bishop takes or you simply take back. Now you are one move away from trapping that bishop so they desperately take that pawn on g5 once again after which you can trick them the same way with queen a5 check and on the next move you win that free piece. Hey guys let me know if you like these anti-London traps so far and hey I'm gonna force you to subscribe if you haven't already cause that's how you encourage me to keep on making more wonderful videos just like this one. Not to mention that I would really love this channel to be big one day and it's only with your support that this dream can come true. So be sure to hit the like button as well as a way of showing your sincere appreciation. Right, D4, Knight F6, Knight F3, it doesn't matter even if they start with the dark squad bishop but the whole idea is to go pawn to c5 and after bishop f4 you just remember to take that d pawn and it is here where we saw that little trap where we go pawn to e5 if white carelessly takes on d4 and remember if queen takes d4 you simply go pawn to d6 followed by queen b6. But when you are playing this line in a real classical tournament or in a longer time control match, you will see a lot of players playing bishop takes b8 cause that's what looks natural given enough time to think. So here just take back that piece then you will see queen takes d4 targeting your undefended a7 pawn but you can just go pawn to b6 if pawn to e4, just trying to grab some more central space you can just go pawn to e6 if e5 you go bishop c5. These are all possibilities by the way, your knight is under attack, in case of queen h4 you have knight d5, don't worry about exchanging your queen, as black you have limited options, after all you are okay according to stockfish, if queen c3 is played, there is even a more beautiful sacrifice in this position where you can just unleash the move bishop takes f2 check, if white takes you go knight e4 check and white's queen is dead, but if they play something else let's say king d1 well you can simply go knight d5 this time I mean attacking that queen you have plans to go knight e3 check next if queen d3 is played or something like that you go bishop b7 if knight c3 you just grab that knight to simplify the game if queen takes c3 you simply put your king to safety and let's say point to b4 in an effort to trap your bishop 
Well, you can just go pawn to d6. And if king e2, just as an example, you can just go bishop h4, supported by your queen and your bishop will be saved. This fails due to this and white is gonna lose a free rook anyway now when i checked the masters database i noticed that most advanced players like taking this into the benoni structure with pawn to d5 instead of going bishop a4 so true if pawn to d5 this kind of transposes back to the benoni defense but because there is no pawn to c4 here you can simply go pawn to b5 expanding on a queen side which is always good given a chance as you can see bishop g5 is the top played move in this position now think of the benoni as an improved version of the perk defense you guys or an improved version of the king's indian defense where you play pawn to d6 g6 you can carry your bishop and castle short then start developing your queen side pieces slowly but sure but anyways to avoid pawn to d6 and other tactics just play queen b6 by the way if d6 the best is to play pawn to e6 because you're gonna take back that free pawn with your bishop you don't worry about this because at best you just have an open g file for your king's rook so white won't cast a short easily third trap against d4 players involving the c5 ideas let's say white starts with d4 instead of playing knight f6 right away you can even start with c5 now this is the real benoni defense or the old benoni this is like the sicilian if you think about it the whole idea is just to trade off your c pawn with white's d pawn so that you can remain with two pawns on the center which is good before we look at some of the beautiful traps that are found in the d5 line let's look at the second most played move in the leeches database d takes c5 that's what you want because now you can go pawn to e6 or even pawn to e5 by the way so that you can go back to your e5 opening but anyways pawn to e6 and after knight to f3 you gladly take that pawn on c5 they play pawn to e3 after which you go knight to f6 and in case you find someone who likes developing their knights first before the bishops like knight bd2 first you can even try this little combo against them knight g4 first the idea is that if they play the top played move in the leeches database bishop e2 you can now sacrifice your bishop on e3 like this because if they take you're going to trap their queen like that so these things do happen in chess by the way you guys never underestimate Casper's traps just fake it until you make it anyway instead of knight bd2 what you will see most of your opponents playing is bishop e2 now if you watched my last video on the importance of advancing your center pawns by now you should realize that these are the moments when you want to take full control of the center so you go pawn to d5 why not castle shot castle shot for some reason people play point to b3 here trying to fiancare their bishop but you can go knight c6 if bishop b2 now you go rook e8 why like i said in my last video you just want to take full control of the center if your opponent is playing a little bit passive for example knight bd2 is the top played move here so you can just go point to e5 give it a chance you want to go point to e4 and this is how i win most of my games point to c4 may be played speaking of taking full control of the center which pawn would you advance in this position? Is it the E pawn or the D pawn? Well, when you assess the position very well, D4 makes a lot of sense because it has more supporters also supported by your queen. If ED, you can simply take back with your pawn and look at all these defenders that are supporting this pawn. Not to mention that you have an open file for your rook. So this is how we make decisions in chess. If you manage to advance one of your center pawns like this, it becomes easier to play the middle game because all you will be doing in the middle game is supporting the advancement of this pawn anyway there's a little trap for beginners and intermediate level players in the benoni defense after d4 c5 dc pawn to e6 where white tries to defend this pawn with a move pawn to b4 this is the first indication that maybe you are playing against somebody who is not familiar with the benoni defense whenever you come across this kind of pawn structure just think of the minority attack with a move pawn to a5 immediately or a4 trying to destroy this pawn structure right white can't play pawn to a3 because if you take they are not going to be able to take back so the top played move here you can see is pawn to 
C3, after which you can now take and look at that. CB is the top played move. What's wrong with people? They have eyes, but they can't see. Because now this allows you to go queen f6. And white's rule cannot escape from Sobibo. The best they can do is to donate their knight. But we just go ahead and take it with check. And they have to block this check, by the way. Not with the queen, because they are going to lose their rook. And, and again, white cannot block this check with his elbow. They can only do it with their bishop. After which you can just retreat your queen back to f6 or even go queen a3 if you are using stockfish, which I don't encourage because leeches is going to catch you. Anyways, what you will see most advanced players playing after d4 and pawn to c5 is pawn to d5, which is the old Benoni. Now there are two ways you can play this line by the way. If you like the perk defense, you can go into this pawn formation that I have highlighted and that also works in the king's Indian defense for example. Beginning with knight to f6 and after pawn to c4, you simply go g6. Again, if d6, by the way, you have pawn to e6 and queen b6, winning that free pawn with the help of your knight, by the way, to stop white's bishop. So let's say knight c3, you go bishop g7. If pawn to e4, now anticipating pawn to e5, this is when you play d6. Same stuff that you do in the perk defense. They play pawn to f4 for some reason. Now you go castle short. And so you can see this is what I was talking about. And if knight to f3, because there's too much pressure on the center, you can begin opening up the position. And honestly, this is what I hate about this type of Benoni because you will always have a weakness on d6 that you will need to control at all time. I'm not saying this is not playable. This is very much playable. Grandmasters play this line, but it's just too risky. So instead of playing knight to f6, back on move two, what I recommend to do is to go back to your e4 e5 stuff with a move point to e5 immediately and you can see that's the top played move in the master's database which explains something so instead of knight to f6 just go into the check benoni defense i have a course on that you can check it on my website www.casperchess.com so they go back to e4. It's like you started with e4, e5. And now you go point to d6, locking up this center. If knight c3 is played, you simply go knight to f6 or bishop e7. It doesn't matter. If knight to f3 is played, now you go bishop e7. The only secret is that before you cast a shot, you want to relocate your queen's knight to the king's side like this. And let's say white castle short, you go knight f8. And if something like pawn to a4, you simply go knight g6. And on the next move, you're going to castle short, play pawn to h6. One of your knights will sit on f4. If you want to know more about the Czech Benoni defense, make sure to check out my course. Hey, beautiful people. This is all for today. Thank you for watching my video and thank you for your support. Tell your friends to tell their friends to invite their enemies to subscribe to my channel so that our community can grow and also drop your recommendations in the comment section down below i mean if there's any amazing opening that you want me to cover i will quickly respond to your comment feel free to do so until next time bye bye